Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Subsistence, what we're calling Cave Dwellers. And in case you're wondering why we're calling it Cave Dwellers, um, it's because we're going to be cave dwelling. So uh, after much deliberation, uh, we have filled our pockets with pretty much everything we can carry. As you can see, I have a diving suit and a couple of oxygen bottles. Uh, Bouncy is carrying everything she needs to start building a base. And has just remembered that she's not picked up her diving suit. <laughs> <laughs> no! I took another bottle. <laughs> oh, right, okay. Um, so, yeah, I think it's time. Uh, it's actually about to be night time. We've spent all day just trying to get stuff ready, make the bottles we needed, and collect all the stuff we can fit in our pockets. So Bouncy's carrying everything she needs to start building a base. Uh, because I admire Bouncy's base building skills. And because, well... I kind of did this one. So, um, yeah, let's jump into the water and see what we can do in the cave, shall we? Oh, wish us luck. <laughs> so this will be our first trip in this uh, series. Uh, first trip down to the caves. And that outpost base there eventually will be pretty much completely dismantled. Um, I think I see a pearl bounce. <laughs> nope, mustn't. Won't give in to temptation. Well, um, we need pearls, maybe. We do. So the idea is up here, all we'll have essentially is a platform maybe in the edge of the rock. We might make a little fishing hut because we can't fish in the caves, but there won't be a BCU up here. And maybe ultimately we'll put the hunters on normal mode and just see if we can break the game because when we attack their base they'll have nowhere to attack. Don't know. But first thing we must do is we must set up a base in the caves uh, whilst we have an operational base up there. And I'm carrying pearls so I might as well grab that one while I'm passing. Yeah, so not sure how this is going to work, uh, whether it's even possible. There will be a lot of stuff we can't do down here. Um, but I don't really want to have a permanent base up on the surface with the BCU, because that just gives the hunters somewhere to attack. And I know the miners, for some reason, managed to get uh, molotovs and grenades. I'm not sure where they get those from. They picked them up in the lava cave. Oh, uh, they must do special yeah, deliveries. Buddies. It's their buddies in the lava cave, isn't it? So we've had a bit of discussion on where to build this base. And um, we decided to build it this end of the caves because a lot of our time is going to be swimming up to go looting. Because obviously the main resources are on the surface. So initially we did consider the left hand side here. Let's come up here for a second. Yeah, over to the left hand side. I'm going to swap that back before I forget. Uh, because it's like a little island and it's fenced off from the rogues. The problem with that, uh, we're not sure. I know you can build a little um, forward operating base on the water's edge, but we're not sure whether there might be building restrictions there because of its proximity to the tunnel. Uh, so, Bouncy, you've been talking about building over on the right-hand side. So, you want to scope it out and see if you can come up with a plan? Yeah, I'm just uh, trying to see if, if there are any restrictions. In terms of him not, the developer not allowing us to build. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think there are. I'm pretty no. sure you'll be safe over here. Do you want a stair going down in the water? Might be handy if we have to get up fast. E eventually. Yeah, I think eventually. I think for now, I mean, you could always move it until we place the BCU at least. You can always move it. So if you just put down something for now with a couple of storage crates and 
while you continue the development of it, I'll do the running up and down and um, building stuffs and ferrying stuffs. Yeah. So, as I think we mentioned in the previous episode, eventually we're going to end up with so much crystal, um, we're not going to be able to use it all. So the idea is we can use the crystal in the recycler to actually develop mass in exchange for power. So the only way we have, apart from the first 500 power, the only way we have of getting power is with generators, and which of course require biofuel. So. We're going to see if we can exchange medicinal plants, um, convert those into biofuel. Obviously to make them, we have to grow them, which means we need the seeds. And that's obviously part of looting. Um, and we need the grow lights so that they will grow. So it's all going to be interesting to see how, you know, what, how it pays off, whether it works, whether we can get enough medicinal plant seeds and or fat of animals in order to make the biofuel we need to power the base. So this is why we wanted to try it and see how we get on. Okay, have you got some storage crates you could just temporarily throw down? Yeah. There you go. Thank you. So I do need uh, I think we decided 12 scrap to keep on me. Um, what else was it? Oh, I think it was 10. I want to make some generators, uh, so I need to keep the stuff for those. I think the rest was just planks. Let's chuck all this down here. Nails. Lots and lots of nails. And stuffs. Pre built stuffs. Um, I'll leave you a spare pickaxe as well because I don't think I need it. Alright. I'll leave you to it. I'll go and get. The next load. You might be needing another storage crate. Because <laughs> okay. that one's almost full. <laughs> you get hungry, just go shoot the bat. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. Oh god. Oops. Late on the old diving gear. Another pearl right next to me there. Let's get that on the next trip. And it is night time, so not that you'd know that down there. No. Okay, so we need to make another diving set. Um, oh, we're kicking out ash. Uh, because we didn't make it earlier. So I'm going to need 1200 and 200 mass. So we're going to switch that on and switch the generator on to lessen the impact. So that's going to take a little while. Uh, meantime, I'm going to keep the um, 12 scrap and 10 electrical components and we're going to eventually make a couple of generators. Mm. Eight planks. So that's why I was holding on to those for dear life. And the diving gear 
Use 12 scrap and 10 planks. Not the gear, sorry, the diving station. <clears throat> yeah, we need one of those down here. <clears throat> um, right, so I can take those. I think I'm done with these now. Am I? Can't remember. Maybe just leave some of that in case. Uh, remember Foods. to bring me some food. Oh, you want food as well? I do. Heck. <laughs> that means I've got to go hunting. Yes. <laughs> okay, in that case, let's swap these around a little bit. I hadn't planned on working for a living. Oh. <laughs> um, anyway, let's put all this away safe so that I don't lose it if something disastrous happens. It is the middle of the night. You don't really want me to go hunting in the middle of the night, do you? Um, why not? <laughs> It's dark. I'm frightened. Um, actually, I'm I'm hungry for veg. Let's see if there's any kelp nearby. Oh, pearl. Ah, uh, it's about to be morning. Because all the pearls are spawning up here now. We've been searching for days for easy to get pearls, haven't we, on this on the shore? Yeah. Go, your hunger problems are solved. I shot a chicken. Uh, just, <laughs> just, just one. Just one. Yeah. That's all you need, isn't it? I mean, you're not running around down there. You just stood still building. You know, you don't you need much food. So that's not how it works. No. But at least my health is not going down yet. Oh, you're not that hungry now, then. I wouldn't let you starve. I need you to build me a house. That said, all I'm finding is brown bears. Well, I can eat those as well. Yeah, I just can't kill them. Shoot and run, shoot and run. <laughs> It's a shame you can't fish down here. Well, we can try it again, but yes, we did try uh, the old fishing thing and it wasn't successful. But uh, that said, fish traps work, so you could throw a few fish traps down. Well, did you bring normal wood? Um, I think that's on this trip. Okay. Ooh, bottle of water. Right. 
two pieces of scrap there. Can't get it because of the bear. Oh, these wolves aren't being very helpful. One steak off each. And one liver off that one. So I think your veggie is going to have to be cave mushrooms. Uh. Is that okay? Um, that's not quite what I signed up for. <laughs> not finding many uh, many veggies at all. It's a bit more difficult building down here with the rocks and, and stuff because... Yeah, they're all different heights and things, aren't they? Yeah. So right now I've just built a, a square, but I would like to do something else. But I'm also afraid of just wasting wood. Yeah, I think um, if you just get the very basic down that you can at the moment and, you know, we need to get get moved in and then we can fiddle around with it to our heart's content afterwards. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm trying to find some veggies for you. Struggling. Do I need to come up? No, no. How close to starvation are you? Uh, I'm um, orange in f protein and veggies, and I'm yellow in food hunger. Right. Okay, I'll bring this down. Um. Now you can run the fridge, but no, the power, it, I yeah, can't. You can, cause you, I can't you even put up a fridge because I don't have a BCU. Yeah, you can put a BCU up. You could put the fridge up, but you you get free power with the BCU. But obviously, it won't get replaced, will it? No. Should I? Well, I've made a BCU now, but yeah, I don't know how long the. What do you get? 150 power, is it, with a BCU? I don't know how long that's likely to last. No, because the fridge is... is it, it's not upgraded. There. Spread some of this out. How far off are we? Ooh, 85. Right, hopefully we'll get the 200 mass with that run. Cook some of this up for you. You've got a wood burner down there, haven't you?
You've got a wood burner down there, I believe you, you made one, didn't you? Yes, I have a wood burner. Okay, so rather than sitting here cooking all this food, I'll, um... I've got uh, three rabbits and a chicken, and uh, you will have some steaks and possibly a liver, although I might keep that for myself. <laughs> um, and then there are six bottles of uh, veggie water, you know, berry juice. Yeah. Okay, some steaks. Do you we have, have a, a Jenny? Mass. I haven't built them yet because we were building up for the um, uh, diving gear. So I've got okay. 200 mass now, just waiting for the power, and then we can do the diving gear, and then I'll build the Jennies. Okay, so I'll grab that and a couple of bottles. And whatever else I can carry. Okay, I'm on my way down. Okay. <clears throat> Say, I won't let you starve. Much. <laughs> well, when you put up the BCU, the second one, you only have 150 power and yeah. 25 mass so you can't yeah. even build a base light no you can no but what i was wondering with the gener uh, with the base free power that you get the 150 the fridge uses i think it's 0. 0.2 per second is it so one unit every five seconds multiplied by 150 yeah um, so five lots of 150 seconds is what is all you'll get, basically. Which is two and a half minutes, is it? So five times two and a half is twelve and a half minutes. That sound about right. So about half a day. Should I put down the solar panel and see if it does anything? Uh, we can't use it for anything, sure. so we have to put it down to dismantle it anyway. Sure. Oh, I can't get out the water. No. Want me to build you another stair? You're going to have to. I can't get up there. <clears throat> Sorry. There you go. Yeah. Was it daytime when you left? Yes. Okay. Right. First things first, food. Stop you passing out with hunger. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So those can go in there. Those can go in there. More nails. <laughs> oh, I'll keep those on me. Um, <clears throat> right, there's some food in this crate here, uh, but you'll have to cook it. Okay. Oh, I've got some two steaks on me as well. Uh, well, actually, I'll hold on to the two steaks because um, you're not going to need it with all that stuff, are you? So yeah, you could you could delay the, the or extend the life of your food by putting it in the fridge. Yes. But obviously, that's not a never never ending thing, is it? Yeah. So yeah, the solar, the solar isn't word working. No, solar is zero and zero. Yeah. So that's a waste. So you might as well, when you're ready, you might as well just dismantle that. Um, okay, I'm going to get some more stuff. It pains me to pass that crystal and not pick it up, you know that. Well, you can pick it up. 
<laughs> yeah, there's no point yet, is there? Every time you open a crate down here, it's very loud. Yes. Yeah, it echoes them. Oh, sun's up. <laughs> Can't see it now. There's a, a marker there a minute ago for for that other BCU. There it is. That's interesting. The marker for the other BCU in the, the BCU in the cave is almost almost directly below this base. Oh. I take down, we need it all, don't we? Yep. Yeah. Um, what I'll do is I'll bring the tomato seeds down and then if you want to at least put a plant bed down we can get that started. the building going it's okay <laughs> um, I only have 83 planks left oh right Hello. Hello. Oh, interior walls as well, huh? Yeah. We are, we are posh. Your pistol is in the um, ammo box thingy. Okay. And do you have a box for stuff to recycle? Because we've got quite a lot of that. Um, no. I've been looking for it recyclable because I might as well get some power and mass up if I need if we need to build something down here.
So, nice. We've got a workshop area. We've got yeah. a lounge stroke, dining stroke, yeah. kitchen area. Yes. And you're working on the bedroom area. Yeah, on this side, this is going to be the bedroom. Cool. And this is going to be another patio. Oh, right, okay. Because we actually don't need more space than that. Right. For okay. the time being. Don't forget being. you've got a uh, floor stroke ceiling piece out here. I don't know if that was intentional. Yeah. I need to make a hole in the roof so I could get up there. Oh, right. Okay. Right, I'm still waiting on power mass. You alright for a short while? I'm going to do a bit of looting, see if I can find some more veg and things. Yeah. Oh, I see mushrooms. Yeah, <laughs> grab them. Yeah, gotta go. Oh, we need a way out that way. So we don't have to go in the water to get... Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Oh, and the crystal just spawned. <laughs> well, you've got a crate for recyclables now, haven't you? So you can collect it now. Two crystals, more mushrooms. Uh, definitely collect the mushrooms now. Yeah. They're going to become more and more important. Cotton seed. Nice. That means I need an exit there. Maybe here. Well, I don't know where all the veggies have gone, but I'm not finding much.
Well, there's been no signs of any hunters. Oh. Aha. Lubri. Yeah, normally they're hanging around by the lake there, aren't they? Yeah. I mean, if you get to a point of starvation, you could always um, go and shoot the rogues. You know, they've usually got a fire cooking food. Yeah. You know, depending how desperate you are. Well, I s I'm not that desperate. It's more <laughs> um, veggies. Yeah. Struggling to find veggies. I found two carrots, both of which were seeds. Here's another one. Seed. Well, I guess we have to make plant beds fairly quick. Yes. But I don't think anything will grow until we put grow lights on them, and that requires power, so... Let me go back and see what the power situation is like. I was trying to find small animals um, so that I'm not using ammo. And I got a few, but well, two chickens, that's it. So I'm not finding enough veg to feed my needs, let alone yours as well. It's loud. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you'll have to not do anything. <laughs> Don't open any crates. Don't slam any doors. <laughs> I could come up and um, carry stuff. Yeah, if you're at a loose end, you might as well. No reason not to. Right, so the only other thing that we're kind of desperately needing is a bed. Yeah. Which is 570 mass. Well, you could make the bed so instead of a Jenny because we can. Uh, too late. Oh. <laughs> That's okay. Well, we. Um, let me we, just sort some of this stuff out. We I'll could settle for more. one Jenny in the beginning, but. I've got two Jennies now, so um, just put away some of this stuff. Okay, so a bed is ten feathers. Got the scraps. So. Uh, yeah, I can make a bed as soon as I get the power of mass. So. Uh, are you coming up or am I coming down there? I, I'm coming up. Oh, there's so many pearls. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, yes, stop, stop picking pearls. Go up, 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 up. That's off. Um. Oh, that that's definitely staying. That's definitely staying. Oh, I see another pearl. That as well. I think I can reach One that one. Can go. Um, 
do we even need all those pearls? We're not building any solar windmill. <laughs> I don't know, it's just habit, isn't it? Yeah. If you see it, get it. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, I am desperate for veg, but I've got you two tomatoes. Yeah, and you've put carrots in? I've put carrots in because it's not too important. Um, in terms of, um, uh, like, we've got loads of carrot seeds, and we may, maybe don't need many. But, yeah, because... We're going to have a problem with veg. I thought it was better while there's a BCU up to have something growing. Yeah. So we're just waiting for 570 mass and then we can make the bed. Okay. Um, so put the jennies back in there. Put those back in there. What time of day is it? It's midday. It's quite late on, I think. Yeah, it's getting getting on. Uh, don't forget to put your diving gear safe, though, if you're going to go off looting. Yeah, I was just thinking I could do a quick loot run. Well, it's wood, isn't it? Or more correctly, planks. That's going to be a stumbling block. I mean, there's a few in there. I mean, we could make a strength pack and just go nuts, but there's no point if the forest is full of animals. No. Chub a lot of wood. Yeah, I'm kind of focusing on that at the moment. As I say, I do think we're probably going to have to come up and have a fishing hut. The sun is going down. Yeah.
Hey, found a carrot. I was just about to ask if it was a carrot or a seed. No, uh, it was a carrot. Not still collecting ores, are you? I've deliberately not been collecting them at the moment because my pockets are full of other things. Well, same with the pearls. She oh yeah, it. we're gonna we're gonna need them, but um, yeah, log keys. Yeah, there's plenty of time for that. We've got quite a bit as it is. So. Okay, let's see how we're doing. yet 570 we've got 453 Okie dokie. Alright, you about ready to uh, go home? <laughs> yeah. I'm coming. <clears throat> I'm just waiting for this last bit of power. We're 450, 62 at the moment, so um, as soon as that gets to 570, I'll uh, be good to go. There we go. I think Bed. I'll be going home now. You're going home. Yeah. Okay. Bye. I'll bring what I can bring. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so you took the crate. That's full. That'll burn out. Can't carry any more of that. So there's a little bit of stuff in the refinery still. I'll take that. Top crate is empty. Bottom crate is a minimal amount of stuff. 
Workbench is empty. And plant bed is growing. Okie dokie. Sorry guys, it's very dark, but uh, I'm just um, going home. And if it wasn't copyrighted, I could play a song here. <laughs> In case I left you guessing, uh, it's uh, about going home because you've done your time. That's as far as I can get without getting a copyright strike. So, welcome to the echoey world of the caves. And our base. And must compliment Bouncy on her base building. Very good. Very nice. Hello. Hello. Right, put some of this stuff away. Um, what we got in there? Ammo. Um, I'll put the bed in the bottom left of this uh, top crate. I don't know where you've got planned for it. Okay, so we just need to get a refinery going. For now, I'm going to have to dump it all in there. There we go. Very good. Very well done. So we might want to buy a few extra spawns on that bed as soon as it becomes available. Right, on that note, we can consider, I think, that whilst we still have to dismantle uh, the base up top, so uh, we'll get some resources back from that, we'll move it around and turn it into a bit of a fishing hut. Um, but I think we have to say we've we've moved. Yeah. It's Not very, seeing any crystal. It's very dark over here. It is. Yeah, we might need to put some... Uh, floodlights and, and lighting and things in the base once we get some kind of power established. But um, that's it. That's all we've got for you for now. Uh, if you're happy to finish there, Bouncy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there's some phosphate spawns over there. Yeah, I saw um, that. Well, <laughs> yeah. The build will continue um, because it's not quite finished the way I want it to be. So but this is never finished, is it? Yes. <laughs> There's always something can be done. Anyway, um, oh, mushrooms. <laughs> uh, we're we're going to call the episode there. Thank you very much for joining us. I uh, hope you enjoyed that. There is much more to come. We have to now try and actually live in this base and operate out of it. Uh, which obviously the vast majority of looting is going to be done going up to the surface. Uh, but ultimately we hope to use this as a stepping off point to get into the lava caves where there are good resources to be had, uh, all of which will stop us having to craft them and uh, electricery and mass to do so. Uh, so yeah, join us again next time for more hopefully excitement in the caves uh, as cave dwellers. I'm just going to grab this coal for the fire.
but yeah, take care of yourselves. If you want to see Bouncy's perspective of her doing the building, uh, putting up the base and things, there's a link in the description. Please go and check out her channel. Uh, some really exciting stuff going on in that channel with her building. And um, we'll catch you all next time. So, bye bye now. Bye.